When one writes a novel or makes a movie or a game, they make promises to their audience, whether they know it or not. Promises of tone, of setting, of genre. Promises of story, and of what shall occur along the story, and what shall happen between characters. Promises of what will come after and what came before. The fulfillment of these promises is vital to the satisfaction of your audience. If you do not fulfill these promises, you will have a disappointed audience, and they may be angry. Yes, it is true at times you may subvert these promises, but when they are subverted, they need to be subverted for that which is more satisfactory than the original promise. Something maybe more interesting or something different, something that builds on the story or on the world. So remember, it is vital that you fulfill the promises you make to your audience. Examples of this being done and this being failed we shall go through now. The Disney Star Wars films have often been criticized for being inconsistent and being derivative of having inconsistencies, plot errors, and just not being that great compared to the previous ones. Many little problems have been pointed out, but all of these flow into one greater problem, and that is they did not fulfill the promises made in the previous Star Wars films. Through the original films and ending in Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, we were given the promises that a new republic would rise up, that would be a just government to settle the problems that the galaxy had been going through, and that Luke would establish a new Jedi Order that would last for a long time and would be much better than the previous Jedi Order and would not have their flaws and would be more balanced and that there will be balance in the Force and that we'll get to see these characters progress forward and build a better galaxy. But then comes around Episode 7, The Force Awakens. And what do we have? Oh, the Jedi have vanished. Luke is gone. People just view the Jedi as a legend. The Empire is somehow back in the First Order. The New Republic seems to be incompetent doing nothing. It gets destroyed in a moment and no one seems to really care. And we're back to a small existence fighting against a big Empire. The promises were unfilled. They returned back to where it was previously, and these continue. They also ripped out the promise of the whole Star Wars world. Even though we might say the extended universe, or Star Wars Legends, is not really vital to the new canon, it is vital to how people view it. We had that extended universe given to us. We had that expanded universe. Star Wars was an entire universe. It was more than just the stories in the movies. And they had stories that were outside of the stories in the movies. They weren't evolved in them. And they were interesting. And then suddenly it's all ripped away. All those decades of work are ripped away. And we are given only one storyline. Sit straight in the movies and just that. There's a ripped away promise. The universe is gone. Those are failed promises. And once again, it's the fulfillment of promises that is vital to the satisfaction of your audience. You can have inconsistencies and still fulfill your promises. Look at the Legend of Zelda video games. Those are known for being inconsistent. Hyrule Castle does not stay in the same place. The species don't even look the same half the time. But yet, they fulfill their promises and people enjoy them. It's because they are the legend of Zelda, not the legends of Zelda. Each game is its own independent story, telling roughly the same story, but in a different way each time. And you get to experience being Link, being weak, but being able to use your courage to grow in power till you can, with others, defeat Ganon. And they fulfill that promise of that heroic story each time, even though in between the games comparing them, they're inconsistent. Another example of failing that promises is Game of Thrones Season 8. We had promises beforehand of the Ice King would come down, you would be terrified. You would have the long night, and they would struggle to defeat them. Yet, the night lasted for one episode, and he was defeated easily, relatively. The only reason the battle was at all hard was their incompetence, which once again broke their promise. In Game of Thrones, the world has been built up on the promise that every action has severe consequences, that you must play the game right to win. And then they win that battle against the Ice King by a total fluke, by just having to run into the right place at the right time and stabbing. Even though they made all the wrong choices in the battle, they still won, which broke the promises of the world, along with other ways that broke the promises of the world. So once again, you can see from these examples that fulfilling your promises is vital to the satisfaction of your audience. If you write a novel that's advertised as a romance, but turns out to be a psychological thriller, you're going to have disappointed audience. You need to give them some of that which you promised. That is what they came for, and that is what you are to give them. The fulfillment of your promises and the making of those promises, the correct ones, is vital to the satisfaction of your audience. 
like and subscribe.